how to give them space so that they will miss you and they'll come back. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful Eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. High flyers want to remind you that I've put together a very special ebook called five secrets to attracting your specific person. It's yours. Absolutely free. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com and get your free copy five secrets to attracting your specific person. Well, as you know, high flyers, the key to attraction is vibration. Sometimes it's absolutely necessary to give your specific person some space so that they will miss you. And then they'll beg to be with you. So you're seeing someone and you're spending time together. Everything seems to be perfect. And then all of a sudden you notice that they don't give you that good morning text anymore, or they're not calling you as often, or they have reasons why they can't get together. And you go, wow, what is going on? So you, you, you start thinking it must be my fault. So I need to chase harder. I need to start calling them. I need to start texting them. I need to start commenting on everything that they put up on social media. And the more you do that, the worse it gets. And you know that you feel a wall between you and this special person, the specific person. So what happens is you try to draw them closer. You do everything you can think of to draw them closer. But the closer that you continue to try to draw them, the more they move away. What do you do? Well, you're calling more often. You're texting more often. As I said earlier, you're checking their social media. You're driving by their house. You're doing all kinds of crazy things that you didn't have to do before when the relationship was great. The next thing you start doing is you start really chasing hard. And remember, when you're chasing, whatever you're chasing is running. It's running away from you. So now the panic sets in and you start feeling panicky. You start feeling needy. You start feeling anxiety. And that's when you are detracting rather than attracting. There are times, especially like the ones I've described, where giving space the right way, and I'll show you the right way, actually increases the magnetic connection between the two of you. So first high flyers, let's understand why someone might need space. Number one is it could be that they're going through a period of their life when they're under a tremendous amount of anxiety and stress. So I have a client who's all concerned that her boyfriend isn't giving her the attention that he used to, even though his father is in critical care in hospice and he's dying. And I can only go back to when my father was dying, how I wanted to spend every waking moment with my dad. And likely the same is true with this gentleman. He just wants to spend time with his father and he's feeling anxiety. He's feeling anger. He's feeling stress. He's feeling pain. He needs space. Sometimes the need for space has nothing to do with the relationship. Sometimes there are some problems in the relationship and some people prefer to work out their stuff, their emotional stuff alone. Well, the second reason a person might need space is that there's been some disagreements, some serious disagreements, maybe even some fights for some people having that space helps them work through this work through the disagreements. But 
what happens is you don't want to give them that space because you're afraid they may decide against you or against the relationship. But look, if you loved once and you love deeply, the two of you can love again, deeper, stronger, the second time around. So even if you've had a fight, give them the space, let them work through it. Let them put that fight off in the distance where it becomes a distant memory. With some people, high flyers, having that space helps them get clear. And that allows them, getting clear allows them to begin to understand your point of view. Whereas prior, they didn't. So a little warning, getting clingy, getting needy, chasing too hard can actually slow down the process, the natural healing process of the two of you coming back together. One of the things that happens is they're asking for space and you're not giving it to them. And that pisses them off. That gets them really angry. And now that new anger is married to the old anger. And it's just a big ball of anger and it actually makes things worse. Well, the third reason that they may need space is that they're just losing interest in the relationship. They may be uncertain about the relationship, where it's at, and where it's going. But remember the law of attraction, it's about drawing people to you. It's about drawing what you desire to you. It's not about chasing. So first, do not chase after them. If they've asked for space, or if they've started pulling away, don't automatically increase your chasing, pull back. I call it mirroring. Give them exactly what they're giving you. If they're not calling very often, don't call them respond when they call, give them the same energy they're giving you. That's respecting their need for space but it's also helping them to miss you. Secondly, do not give in to obsession. Don't follow them. Don't hang out in front of their house. Don't check their social media three, four times a day, you know, give them the space, but more importantly, snap yourself out of the obsession. Stop it because it's hurting you and it's not helping them. Remember high flyers obsession is contrary to attraction and third, and this is a big one. Do not beg. Look at one time you were on a pedestal and for whatever reason, whatever's transpired, you may not be on that pedestal now, but you will be on less than you won't even be on even ground if you get on your knees and start begging. So do not beg. Okay. Are you ready? Here's what to do. So before I tell you, here's what to do, be sure and subscribe and click that bell icon because most of the people that watch our videos are non subscribers. Okay. Here's what to do. Number one, become master of your fear. The acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. Most of the fears, 92% of all fear in our mind, in our belief system is false. It's not real. Only 8% is real. So stop giving into the fear. Can you imagine going on to a dating app? A lot of you have been on dating apps before, right? And in your description of who you are, you put, I am constantly in a state of fear and panic and anxiety. How many dates do you think you would attract? <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. So high flyers, if fear and anxiety are anti-attraction, why would you allow them to happen in your life? You have to work through it. You have to stop believing it and you have to start believing your intentions and the reality that you are creating within your heart and your mind. Number two, fill yourself, fill your mind with positive 
self affirming affirmations. My favorite is everything is okay. Okay. So maybe she's not calling, you know, Rachel did that to me. She didn't call me for a long time. When we were apart, we were 3000 miles apart and I just kept saying, everything's okay. And I'd go about my business and I wouldn't give it any more thought than I had to. And by feeling that way and thinking that way, you put yourself back in a position of inner confidence of inner power, and you get the law of attraction working for you rather than against you. And number three, give them space. If they need space, give it to them and then mirror them. When they call, you call. If they give you a little bit of attention, you give them a little bit of attention. They give you a lot of attention. You give them a lot of attention. Mirror their behavior. Number four, work on your vibration. It always comes down to vibration, doesn't it? Meditation, affirmations, visualization, scripting, incantations. You need to be working on your vibration all the time, around the clock, even while you're sleeping. And number five, focus on you. Create a life that is so fun, so joyful, so filled with things to do, so compelling that anybody would want to be a part of it and that your specific person will want to rejoin it because they will see that you have transformed yourself. They'll feel that shift where you've gone from wanting and hoping and wishing to actually taking inspired action and living an incredible life. So remember every time you think about this person and they're going to come into your mind throughout the day, that's just normal. Just pause for a moment. Say cancel that thought. It's not that you're not attracting them. That's not it. You just don't want to be thinking about them all the time. You don't want to be obsessing about them. So you say, cancel that thought. And then you redirect it to think about something about yourself. Oh, I'm going to get my nails done, or I'm going to get a new hairstyle, or I'm going to buy a Harley Davidson motorcycle and tour the country, whatever it is that you're into, start thinking about things that affect your life and your journey and make you happy. Giving someone space isn't always the easy thing to do. So I want to help you. We want to help you at law of attraction solutions.com. Claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching and find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. And here's another way we can help you. It's the next video right here.